Building a WordPress site or a WooCommerce store doesn't have to be difficult, especially when you use a builder that's meant for it. Let me show you vBuilder and how easy it is to create an entire website using this builder. So let's go jump over to my desktop right now. Let me get started by showing you this demo site that I created, and it was created entirely with vBuilder. Everything that you see here that's nice looking can be customized, and they have a bunch of templates that we can use to build sites super fast. So this is especially great for your own use case or even to start selling websites. Now it's great for WooCommerce stores or WordPress sites. Now, right now you can grab it. It's called the B theme and it comes with B builder and they have over 281,000 sales with over 4.83 rating from 6,600 reviews. You can't go wrong with this. Plus it comes bundled with over 650 pre-built website templates that help you build websites like this. Now, all of this, you're gonna get it for $60 as of this video. It's a one-time payment, no annual fees, and you're gonna get all the updates included. So you can't go wrong. Now, if you're looking for something fast, this is also the way to go. It's super fast. So let me show you all of this right now. So let me get started. Let's jump over to the back end of my WordPress site. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a whole site. Now, if I go to Btheme, which is a plugin that I installed when I got this, and I'm going to go into the pre-built websites, and the, there's a list of templates that we can use. Now, what I like about this is that I can practically view one of these templates, see if I like it, see how it flows, and if I like it, well, I go ahead and use it on my site and just start changing images. So it's super easy to get started. Now, how flexible is B Builder? Well, let me show you on one of the pages that I have. Let me go into my pages and I'm going to go to the front page. Where is that? Here it is, front page. I'm going to edit with, with B Builder. So in B Builder, it's a whole complete builder that I can start customizing and selecting features. So if I select any of, any of these elements for B Builder, I have the options here on the left to start changing the font, the style, the padding, the cropping the images, etc., and everything's going to be right here. For example, for each of the elements that I select, the options are going to be different. So you can see settings for this or settings for, sorry, don't want to delete that settings for this one. It's going to be different. Okay. So I'm going to select this again and I'm going to go into, for example, instead of free returns, it's going to be <laughs> paid returns just to give you a quick demo. Okay. And you can see it changed instantly. Okay. Now, if I want to drag this element, I can just go ahead and move it like this. And now instead of having it on the left, I have it on the right. So building a website with this is super easy. Okay. Now, if you like how it looks, you can go ahead and update it. And there's a lot of options like style and advanced for each one of these elements that are going to give you a lot of customization. Okay. Now there's a different settings for the header and for the footer. Okay. So these are not edited right here. They're edited in a different section, which I'm going to show you. So let's go back into the back end. I'm going to leave. And in this section where it says templates, there's a section that says header and footer. Let's get started with the header. So there's a pre-built header already, but if I want to create a new one, I go ahead and click on new, but I'm going to edit this one. And again, I'm going to edit it with B builder. Now, what I like about it is that I'm able to customize the whole header without having to be complex with like other builders. Okay. So in this case, if I select this section, I'm going to be able to edit this section specifically. Okay. So in this case, I'm displaying this menu, which is categories. And just to give you a kind of quick idea, if I click on this menu, it's going to be a different one that I have already. These menus are created on the WordPress site. Okay. And then we view them here. So in this case, if I don't want to view the main menu, I can go ahead and do the category menu just to give you an idea and it refreshes. You can see it looks like this one, but obviously we do want to keep the main menu. Now we have options like alignment. I can send it to the left instead of the right. Maybe that's not how I like it. Right looks okay. So I keep it there. I can do an item animation. I don't want to do it for the menu, but it is possible. There's some separators. You can see it added some lines in between. I can go ahead and remove that. There's a hover or click sub menu icon and a lot of settings for these. Again, there's a style for each one of these and advanced settings for all of them. Okay. Now let's just say that I want to edit this element. I go ahead and click on it. There we go. I can go ahead and add a new element. If I like, I can click on the search bar and instead of saying enter your search, I can type something else and 
just to give you an idea, I mean, everything is customizable with this. Now, if I like how it looks right now, I can go ahead and save it. And I have a header for my whole site or for specific parts of my site that is possible. There's this little uh, banner on the top. I can change the settings for this. There's three slides. I can add more slides if I like or change what it says. So different type of promotions and just edit it there. OK, I go ahead and update this and you can see it's included in the entire site. But I have different sections if I want to create another menu for specific kind of reasons. OK, let's go back into my site. Let's go back into templates. Let's go into footer. And again, I have the option to create a new footer or edit the one that I have already. So I'll click on this one. And again, it's going to open up the builder for each one of these elements. If I want to drag and drop it somewhere else, I mean, that doesn't, doesn't look good, but I mean, it's possible to drag them in different sections. Okay. So just like that, I'm able to customize all of this by clicking on it and editing it really quickly. Okay. And again, we have everything here. I can go ahead and remove this. This, if I don't like it, let's say that that section is something I don't want too much spacing. For example, I want to remove these rights. There we go. And it's just giving you an idea what is possible. So again, let me get it out of here. I'm not going to save. There we go into templates. And that's where you're going to add, add your headers and footer. And you can create templates for different types of situations. Now, I like this because it's really customizable and it's pretty cool, right? Now, you can also create pop ups for your site. And that section is right here. Why would this be useful? Let's just say that you have a promotion. It's Black Friday, whatever. Well, we can create a pop up just by clicking add new. And this is going to be a pop up category and I'll name it pop up. Here we go. I'll create a template and we're going to start creating. We can select the layout. In this case, it's going to be just a single layout. And I'm going to search for image. I'm going to add it here. And hypothetically, we are going to say that we have a Black Friday image ready to go, which I don't, but we'll just pretend it is. Here we go. It's going to be a pop up. Let's go ahead and update it. There we go. We're going to add a condition. And let's just say that we don't want to do it on the entire site. We want to do it a singular and we want to do it for a certain category. So we'll say computers. OK, go ahead and save it. And now it's going to pop up in that specific section. Now, that's how easy it is to create a pop up. Now, let's go back. Now, I'm going to show you how customizable it is for products. So if you have a WooCommerce store, you're going to love this feature. So let's go into a product. We're going to add a new one. And I'll just name this new and we're going to edit with B Builder. OK, so let's go ahead and leave. And now we're going to be able to create a product with B Builder. OK, so let's just say we have the main image already. But in description, we have this full feature system. So instead of having their ordinary just written and some just clunky images out there, we have a B Builder now. So let's start creating and we have sections available. So let's use this half divider here and let's add an element. So in this element, well, we have a bunch of elements available here. And for this case, I'm going to add an image. Just going to keep it really simple. Add an image there. And we're going to add an add other element here. And we're going to say some accordion. Yeah, let's add that there just for testing purposes. And we can also add sections. So let's add a whole section here. And we're going to add from the pre built, pre built sections. And we can find really nice looking sections here that we can use. Now, this is going to be a game changer for your products because, like I said, it's not going to look ordinary. So let me add this one. Let's insert it. Here we go. Inserted one. Let's add a, another one here. The helper. Let's add that there. And again, we can go ahead and customize all of this. And there's a lot of sections that are going to be really useful for this use case. I can go ahead and delete this element if I don't like it and get rid of that one also. And then we just keep these elements that we have from the pre-built section. Now, this is going to be, like I said, a game changer for your products because they're going to look better and you'll be able to add that information that's going to make your product stand out or service. OK, now you can see that you can build the whole website with Be Builder and it's going to look fantastic, especially when you use these pre-built templates. Everything's going to be a breeze. I like this because it helps me build websites fast. And if I offer this to clients, well, I'm going to build it super fast. Now, like I said, all of this, you're going to get it for a one time price of $60. It's going to have over 650 templates that are pre-built that are going to help you build your site. 
Plus, it's super fast. Now, if you do speed tests, you're going to really love it. So there you go. Don't forget to check out the link in the description and graph B themes. That's concluded with B Builder. And that's a wrap.